Hi everybody, my name is Al Sartan. Welcome to my Fable 2 walkthrough. And so our story begins. I've been in this game before, but uh, there's only one thing I want to do before I uh, finish it forever. The love ending. And not just that. Mm. Some choices that I never did it uh, before. And... I changed my mind uh, for the last walkthrough because uh, I know it's boring uh, that uh, I started but again, who is the hero but, of our tale? Then let his destiny unfold. But I have a better idea. Victory. Not a free house. The in first the English commentary. No knockout, no resurrection file. Mary, yes. No children. The repeatable quests are not important. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, Shit in the head. Well, I hear that's lucky. Like finding a four leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Luthien's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really the lonely Eagles. since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, little brother. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. That filthy creep. I hate him. Oh, it's just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. A ladies and a gentleman. I have traveled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. All right, calm down. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients, as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times, and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. No pushing. We live in grim times indeed. 
if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad, but I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. Rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon. But you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... you really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. For five gold coins, we could eat for a week. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream. No closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces. And maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on. There must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to... to summon. Hey, for the kids! Come here a minute! Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants flew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't <laughs> leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? Idiot. You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Paid? Listen, kids. These are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. One gold for all five warrants. Deal. The warrants blew off in that direction. Through the alley by that bloke with the picture box. So, we look out for those warrants, <laughs> but for now, <laughs> let's find some more money. Oh, me. Nothing better to do. Hello, children. Hello. What's that? This? Why, it's only the most amazing device ever conceived. It grabs your very likeness and transfiddles it onto a magic piece of paper. It's going to make me very rich. If only I could find someone to modelify for it. We'll do it for a gold piece. Hmm. I only have one gold left. But you're right. I should investalize it in my new venture. Uh, deal. A gold piece just to stand there. Sounds all right, doesn't it? Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. That was somewhat lacking in... Well, it was just plain nasty, I'm afraid. But I only have one sheet of magic paper, so it'll have to do. <laughs> now, I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. <laughs> I can almost smell the gold. It's not to work. <laughs> three months, he says. Told you it was a swindle. That was fun. <laughs> yes, that was and we've got our first gold coin. This must be the alley the warrants blew down. We should take a look. Come here, boy. I got a treat for you. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh. Fuck you. He hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one. Oh, 
attack you. Ah! Stop it! Let me alone, you nutter! Oh, did you see that? That lunatic shot me right in the head. Thanks for your help. I could have taken him though. <laughs> oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. It won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. We can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. Good boy. Eh? Is that one of the warrants? Well, we have our first warrant. Yes, another warren. Hmm, I don't think they'll miss this Leroy if they see him. I need We've got a three drink. now. Just two more to go. No, you don't. You're right, Betty. You're always right. I need two drinks. Two. <laughs> hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? You can barely stand as it is. But they can. Bet they can walk straight even. Get my booze back from that git magpie and I'll give you a gold piece for it. He's not even a proper beggar. Has piles of stuff and it's all stolen from bodified tramps like my good self. Let it go, Pete. Save your money for important things. It is his money. Can't he decide how to spend it? She's making all kinds of sense. Well, let's talk about my money. You find that bottle, and I'll pay you to keep it out of his hands. Hello. I'm a right. sweet little <laughs> So you'll bring me back my bottle? Yes! Ugh, no. You'll find it and bring it to me, won't you, children? Let's find this magpie guy. All right. That must be magpie. And there's the bottle. Get it, little sparrow. But don't wake him up. Oh, that would look nice on a mantle. I've got to steal a mantle. Let's go collect our gold from the lady and the tramp. But first... Need help with something? Uh, sort of, yes. You kids aren't afraid of uh, beetles, are you? No, that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving beetles. Well, uh, since you're not afraid, how uh, would you like to ruthlessly exterminate a few that are in my warehouse? We'll do it for a gold piece. Done. Ooh, I hope you can make them suffer. If those hideous vermin ever can suffer. All right. Shoot the beetles. Shoot to kill. And while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Hey, kid. Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the nickname. So how about you leave the Beatles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. the nickname's behalf. I don't think so. What I had to do to get those beetles? I'll remember this kid.
That was a massacre. No mercy for the filthy buggers. That's <laughs> what I like to see. And all my stock is still intact. Genius. Now I think about it, I wonder how those beetles got in there. Wow. I didn't know you were so good at fighting. Really? And we've got another gold coin. We're really doing it. Want a drink? I'll not discuss it. It's There's that dog again. Hey, you found one for us. Good boy. Oh, I know. You're sweet. But I told you before, you we can't keep me. you. No, Come on, little I'm sparrow. Your friend. Glad to be that red. He deserved it. Hey, the quadruplets are back. <laughs> You've got booze. I can smell it. Are you sure it's not your breath? I'll give you a gold piece for it. Sounds good to me. No, don't fall off the wagon. Wagon? Where? Kids, look out for the wagon. Does he sound like he needs that? Here, I'll give you a gold piece for it. Give me the wine. All right. Hold it. There's some paper in the bottle. I think this is yours. I used to be an accountant. Don't drink. It'll ruin your life. <laughs> you admit it. Um, I guess I do. From this day forth, I shall stay... As a tax and huh? pensions what? consultant. Oh, you poor man. Well done. You probably saved his life. And that's three gold coins now. Just two more and we can buy the music box. That's all the warrants. We should go back to that guard. Stop right there, you little brats. Brat. Listen, creep. I told you no this morning. Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. So does our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're going to give them to me, see? Otherwise, there'll be trouble. There'll be trouble, all right. You take these, and I'll tell our friend what you really want. All right, you little hard case. What's he paying you? A gold piece? I'll give you a gold right here. Save you to walk back. I don't think so. What's it gonna be, then? The warrants are around here somewhere. Have you found them? Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Now, normally, justice is its own reward. But as these aren't normal circumstances, there's your gold piece. That just sort out this town? It's made now. Four gold coins. We just need one more. Of this fine municipality, Lord Lucian. Oh, Monty. I think Mother heard us. You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off before I call the guards, you animal. You are the animal. Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. There is... Filthy as that no good delinquent Monty. What's the matter with you? 
Oh, little ones, my situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Looks to me like you fancy the girl who lives there, but her mum thinks you're rubbish, so she's locked her away. Uh, I suppose that's the gist of it. Why'd you ask me then? Maybe we could help you. Maybe. <laughs> yes! You could take my proposal letter to the fair maiden. Oh, there is hope. My heart soars in my chest like, like... We'll do it for a gold piece. Ah, oh, I'm a bit strapped right at the moment. But Belinda's good for it. I'm sure she'll pay you when she receives my letter. Knock, knock. What's the matter with you? Oh, little ones, my situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't let her mum get it. All right. Knock on the door and let's see who answers. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. Wait there while I get the money. I don't think and so. And don't you be touch Belinda. anything. Well, this is wonderful. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, Monty, my little dove. Dove. <laughs> I guess some people's wishes do come true. You can't bother them. We did it. We can buy the music box now. Come on, let's go buy that music box. I can't wait to see what it can do. Hey, Linda, what are you doing? Get back in the house. I'm leaving, Mother. I'm going to marry the man I love. What? Oh, Monty, I love you. No, you don't! He's poor! Oh, Mother, you're such a shrew. That's why Father left you, and you can't get <laughs> another man. Belinda, you shouldn't talk to your mum like that. Oh, now you're taking her side. What? No. Well, maybe you should marry her instead. But you're my one true love. Without you... There are no stars and no moon in my night sky. Only the cold, crushing dark of your absence, um, my little dove. Hello, children. Hello. We've come to buy the music box. Very wise little ones. Good. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. I wish. I wish. But where 
did it go? Why are we still here? Five gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. Come on. Why do you think this working? <laughs> Right, to settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. It did work. Our wish came true. Come on, little Sparrow, wake up. It's all right, doggy. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you, I promise. Or not. Come on. Nice. He's pausing. Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young master. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. All right. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. Nice. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? Hello, Master Garth. Ha, <laughs> man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and Little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? Well, history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Uh, yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it. And we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. What she did and did. Address him as my deserves. lord. Speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. But he deserves it. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Children, it's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. 
The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable <laughs> is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh. <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle. Like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you. <laughs> it won't. But he... Yeah. What's that? Nothing to worry about. It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? What are you? Heroes. Wait. No, no, no. Something what happened? here. Those... What's that like? Quiet! You're heroes, but you're not any of the three. One of you is the fourth. What's happening? You motherfucker! Thank you! This isn't what I wanted. But nothing must stand in my way. Very hate it. Death is not your destiny today. I fucking hate this fucker. The most hated uh, man in the franchise. Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that to those who had stood in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the boy survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to his small broken body. The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. His grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. Ah, there you are. And your faithful friend, too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. There's a chest near your caravan. I've okay. left a few things inside that might prove useful. Meet me by the gates when you're ready to leave. Thanks. He 
he was a member of a pack of Balverines laying low on the outskirts of the city, waiting for nightfall. to learn, Sparrow. Now come with me. Open the gate! Good luck. Take this. It is a powerful artifact, the kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Now, look down towards the lake. The seal will allow you to enter that tomb. In its darkest depths lies the Chamber of Fate. When you come out again, you will be stronger, much stronger. I want to kill him without a knockout for this resurrection file. This could be a permadeath ball. But I must be careful if I want to use it. Ocean of fly. Perfection line. The first silver key. Don't be alarmed. I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. You will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry. 
The water at the bottom will break your fall. I know. that you kill. You'll have to shoot the switch to go in further. dare you.
the something I want. But uh, where is it? Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. How dare you! Jet is mine. No barrel. Search, search, search. That inspired.
there has to be something. But where is it? nowhere to be found This is the third one. Three suicide note. I knew it. This was the third one. I knew it. There was a third one that was, was missing. All right. need to use uh, the coffee if I want to continue. Beyond these broken doors lies the Heroes Guild. For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Once worshipped by the people of Albion, the great heroes came to be feared and hated no man alive today remembers the night the guild burned, and now it lies forgotten. But the heroes are not all gone. You are here, and that same heroic blood flows through you. Look around at these walls. Your forebear, one of the mightiest heroes who ever lived. At a young age, he suffered a devastating loss, from which he never truly recovered. But when the world tried to crush him, he fought back. He grew strong, strong enough to reshape the world as he saw fit. You must do the same. The guild has reacted to you. Step into the light. Learn the true power of heroes. Of course. Your blood is awakening. Thank you. Yeah! Yeah! You can now channel the experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Strength improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of magic. Before you is a colors gate. 
It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. You have not been able to use will yet, but the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. You need to learn a will ability to activate the color's gate. All right. Look within yourself and examine your innate abilities. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far to better yourself in strength, skill, and will. First the darkness. Shock stuns your enemies and blasts them with lightning. Inferno calls forth magical flames to scorch and burn your foes. Inferno. All right. Excellent. You must do the for so soon. Well done. Now you are ready to begin your journey. Use the colors gate. Good. Use your newfound abilities to defeat them. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. Thank you. How dare you! spot Wait.
Apologies, citizen. The road to Bearstone is closed due to the bandit activity. I'm afraid that as long as the bandit thag is alive, the road stays closed. All right, fag. If you're in an hurry, like, you can always take care of thag yourself. All right. So, the road to Bowerstone is closed. It would seem Thag has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. He is a danger to all and must be dealt with. With your new power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang and continue your quest. No doubt they are at his camp near Bower Lake. There you are. But I don't know. Come on. Perfect. The hop. All right. Dance, laugh, whistle. Assassin code. Keep your wits about you. It may be a trap. Look out! It's an ambush! of Thag's death. With a threat removed, the road to Bowerstone can reopen. Thag yeah. keeps the key to the cage in his hut. It's in a chest. Let's see the property. Oh, no. Me 
did you think? Oi, mate! All the way over here. Don't even think about letting them out. Those slaves belong to me. I paid for them. Look, I don't want any trouble. Give the key to me and I'll make it worth your while. No, don't listen to him. Shut up. You wouldn't do that to us, would you, Sparrow? I have a better idea. I said shut it. I'm not going to tell you again. Nice doing business with you. Hear that, you lot? You're mine now. You <laughs> bastard. I always knew you were no good. I'll curse the name Sparrow the rest of my days. A few coins change hands, and a few honest folk are condemned to years of misery. Is your heart so hard? Perhaps you will destroy Lucian for the wrong reason, but I suppose it will have to do. Meet me in Bowerstone Market by the clock tower. There is something you must see. But... Thank you so much. We're free. Free to wander the paths and byways of the land. No master but the wind itself. Time stretched out before is like I'd like <laughs> what's the word I want, Reg? I don't know. And it's Regina. Right, I'm going now. Uh, thanks again. Ah, uh, yes, thanks. I just fooled him. This was my plan. Truly. Done. Let's see the, if there is a treasure. Let's go to Bowerstone.
apparently someone... Bower Lake. I'm a bar, right. see. And that's the song I'm working on. It's, well, it's my first one. I'm just starting out. Listen to this. A hero went to Bower Lake and gave the tongue a belly ache. <laughs> that's all I've got so far, but maybe if I walk around Bowerstone with you, I'll get some inspiration. And here we have the local coach house. Usually it runs a fast service to Oakfield, but there's been bandit trouble down that way lately, so it's closed for a while. I was going to write a song about it, but then I didn't. Faster before this. This is okay. the Bower Bridge. So sad, nice and uh, bridgey, don't you think? <laughs> There's usually a few stalls set up if you fancy some shopping. The hero stood proudly on the bridge they called Bower, where a whiff of wet rat rose up rather sour. Yeah. I'm going for a bit of an epic feel on that one. Epic? I don't think so. Wait. This dungeon's level four. We're gonna need bigger weapons. Almost everything you can buy in Bowerstone gets here by boat. I try not to go near the wharf myself. Plenty of dodgy folk about, if you know what I mean. Looking for some piers where they sell furniture. Of course, it isn't much use unless you have a house to put it in. Um, I've been advised against singing about furniture. I have bad news. I'm afraid I will be delayed for a while. In the meantime, you should buy some new equipment and prepare for the challenges ahead. But you'll need money. I need if you money need for... money, there are jobs to be found. I believe the blacksmith has an opening. The worst. Have I told you how I became a bard? 
It's quite a funny story, really. I saw this loot in a shop and I bought it. Amazing, isn't it? Nice bit of forging. Need a weapon? Get it here. It's shaping up nicely. Come on. Not here. As Keep long hitting as it like that. Stays as it is, we should be all right. Come on. Not there. Thank you very much. Always happy to help. Nice hit. Sisty. Only one. No. Two. Take your time. Plenty for everyone. Or you know how to use five. a hammer. And at the doors of the crucible, and I'm going to kill everyone. <sighs> a brisk walk is just the thing to inspire one, don't you think? A perfect hammer blow. Two. Three. Four. Sixty. As long as the economy stays as it is, the we shops should be are alive. now closing. Wait. No. A good blow. Shops closed until tomorrow. Forty two. Nice bit of forging. As long as the economy stays as it One, is, we should be all two. right. Three, four, five. A nice sharp one. One. Death fast. Yes. What the that's how you make a blade. It's our most amazing sale. It's shaping up nicely. Need a weapon? Get it here. And two. Nice hit. Sail, sail. Ten. Don't you know how Fuck. to use a hammer? I have returned. Meet me by the clock tower it's in the main too fast. That 
That's one complete blade. Good. Need to buy a first. I apologize for the delay. Events are moving quickly indeed. Think about your life. All the places you've been, the people you've known, everything you've done. How many moments, how many memories. Fag and his men, they had just as many. And now they have none, because of you. Me. Do you feel the weight of responsibility yet? Your enthusiasm will have its uses, but mind it does not consume you. Mutative. Come. The world is better off without Thag, and certainly Bower Lake is in your debt. But to really see the impact of your actions, you need look no further than Bowerstone. It has changed much since you lived here, particularly Old Town, where you spent your childhood. Never forget that even the simplest choice can have far-reaching consequences. Look. That is where Lucian is now, the tattered spire. The spire was intended as a conduit for all the magic in the world, granting the kingdom's ruler a power so great he could bend reality to his will. On the day it was completed, and the first wish made, a light bloomed inside though its nature could not have been darker. Albion shattered. Centuries of civilization were wiped out in moments. Its people erased from existence. Some say that this was the first wish, an end to a hollow and corrupt world, and for a purer one to take its place. That was a bad decision. And now the spire rises once again by Lucian's hand. Lucian found documents which foretold the coming of one who would stop him using the spire. That is why your sister died. And that's why I have that to is why kill that face him. The cards have shown me this. Here. Take a look. All right. Each of the three heroes you see in the cards is a step on the hidden path to Lucian's downfall. And the That's life fine. force of heroes, will itself, is the key to the Spire's power. Lucian's agents scour the land even as we speak. You must find the three heroes before Lucian does, because you are the fourth, the one who will bring his downfall. I have seen a vision of a holy ritual in Oakfield. Salvation, though bittersweet, is delivered by one of incredible strength. Speak to the abbot at the Temple of Light and see what you can learn of this pilgrim. The road to Oakfield will be dangerous. Good luck. It is now officially bedtime. That makes me so happy. Fight right, out! So Alright, alright. Oh, hello. You're around here, aren't you? I need money. The time is <laughs> very late. I was just doing my job, see? It is now officially oh, bedtime. Stalls now open. The stalls are now opening. A good blow. How dare you? It was too fast. That one's ready. No! Stop! 
it. Stop going faster. A good strike. No, not that fast. How dare you? Shaping up nicely. No! How dare you? Roll that faster. Nice hit. That's a fine blade. Yes. Yes. So we can do it. We can do it. No, we're hitting it all wrong. Because too fast. What strikes your fancy? A perfect hammer blow. Two, three, four. Friendly looking ah. children, that's how you make a blade. Doing a good job. Seventy two. No, stop it. That's a blade, all right. Stone's finest item. Nice bit of forging. Not that fast. I told you not that fast. Can I help you? You know how to use a hammer.
good blow. More for your money today. A nice sharp one. Most amazing it's sailing. shaping up nicely. Well done. A good strike. Oh, that's bad. Sorry, my feet should be down. Take your time, Come on. plenty for everyone. Good. The more you spend. If you tell me what I get back now. I need just that. Keep on. hitting it like that. Nice hit. As long as the economy stays as it is, we should be all right. No! Too fast! Not that fast! Too fast! Not that fast! A good blow. Every weapons enthusiast will find something to fall in love with here. Do you need any help, Matt? What is he? No. That's how you make a blade. Seventy two. More for your money today. Change the pool of your clothes with our dime. Nice bit of forging. You're almost there. You know how to use a hammer. Take your time. Plenty for everyone. Yes. Just one. I told you that it's shaping up nicely. Hmm. Let's 
Sylvina. That's it. It should be enough. Wanna buy from a great adventurer? Perfect. Then shop here. And subscribe to my channel, click on the like button, be continuing next time here. Bye bye.